Good morning guys, Scotty here. Uh, it's August 10th today and today I'm going to try and get through the nukes that were made from Hive 14 back on uh, July 21st. I've done my math rights 21 days ago. Probably should have been in here a little sooner but crazy busy with other stuff. I think I just posted that video of taking apart 14 and making the nukes and it got me thinking, geez, I need to catch up and see what these girls are up to. So I'm going to try not to make this too long a video today. I do have other jobs I've got to get to. Um, just going to go through them. I do have my marking, I do have my marking pin handy. Um, see if I got laying queens, I've got laying queens, catch them, mark them. If I don't have laying queens, um, take that nuke and I'll just unite it to one of the ones that does, assuming I have laying queens. Uh, this very, very first one that I'm going to get into here is actually nuke 14. And I ran and made a couple quick notes. This was the nuke that had the frame with a cell that that virgin queen was paying so much attention to. This one here is the one that I've got the most interested in. Um, I didn't say it in that video. When I edited it and I watched it, um, that virgin queen was hugging that cell. Lots of times the virgin queen will sting and kill her rivals. So this is the one that I'm, I'm most interested to see what has become of it. Uh, I do have the other camera running. Got a couple bees on the inner cover. I've got some bees in here. Somebody just asked me in the comment section, or made a comment in the comment section about must be nice to have gentle bees, and it is. Um, but I do think a lot of it is just keeping the bees covered, keeping them quiet, keeping them under control. And uh, quiet box and cover cloths and a little wee bit of smoke at the right time in the right place does wonders. Um, I'm not sure what order I'm going to be posting these videos. I tore a colony 19 apart the other day. It had swarmed, or it was probably a mating swarm, and I, uh, I got into it and I made a little mistake with one of the boxes. I had it standing on its edge for a few minutes. This has got some bees, but this is, uh, this is mostly just nectar. I had it standing up on its edge for just a few minutes and it got a little out of control. I, I'd simply made a mistake and I'd forgot to get a piece of equipment, but I did manage to to regain control of that situation. These bees are very calm, very quiet. This frame is stuck. Here we go. Um, I got cat brood here. 21 days. Yeah, probably. Sun's over there, guys. Sorry, I got turn. I got larvae. Yeah. Got larvae. Small larvae. All right, we got a laying queen in here. And I definitely have eggs as well. Sometimes I can see them with these glasses. Sometimes I gotta get the other glasses, but I got more brood. And there, there is a gorgeous, gorgeous queen right there. All right, I just lay this down. Try not to squish any bees. My marker, make sure my marker's working. Get the propolis off my fingers. All right. I don't want her to come off the this side of the frame, so I just put my hand there. Pick her up by her wings. Set her on my, get rid of that worker bee. I set her there, make sure the wings are down flat. I gotta get her in the light so I can see her. Then I just try and let her run around on my hands for a few seconds, just to make sure. And she jumped back on the frame and I'm not gonna argue about it. Uh, again, I don't know where that camera's pointing. Hopefully you see her. And in the box she goes. So, that is spectacular. That means, that means that that queen, that virgin queen, didn't sting and kill that, obviously. All right, next, next one I'm gonna have a look in here is number 62. It's the exact same procedure, guys, just Trying to hold this for the close-up camera, but the very, the very, very first frame I've pulled out, I can see it's right full of larvae. Got a laying queen in here as well. Yeehaw! Oh, and I made a mistake too in that other video. I think I said I made seven. There's actually only six. I had a nuke box sitting out there when I tore that colony apart. Um, when I tore that colony apart, 
It had four frames of honey in it. I had a cover cloth on it. I made six that day, not seven. One with a virgin queen and five with cells. This side also had, oh, there and there's my queen. Let's see. I don't know uh, where she goes. She's right here. It's pretty early in the morning and when I hold this up to the camera, I put it in the shade. So I'm not sure if that camera catches her or not. Nice big queen. Catch her. Put her on my second finger and make sure I got the wings laid down flat. I'm sorry, that's not turned to the camera, but I do need the sunlight to see what I'm doing. And then I just let her run around on my hand for a few seconds as long as I can. That way the worker bees work and then she's down. Try to keep her running around for a little bit, just so that the worker bees don't get a chance to clean that wet paint off. I like to watch her for a little bit, make sure that uh, I didn't hurt her. She looks fine. Two. All right, readjusted the cameras a little bit. This one here is Nuke 52. And I've got cat brood and open larvae in this one. A little burr comb on the bottom, but I'm going to leave that. That's This is a deep box. They build that so they can climb up. Try and get out of that. But that's all cat brood there. In the, does that camera catch that? I think it does. That's all cat brood in the center. And I've got open larvae. Oh, straining my eyes. Oh, I see eggs. There's eggs there. Okay, now we got to find a queen. This is excellent. That's three. Oh, this side too. That's all capped. And eggs, small larvae, large larvae. Uh, it looks like right there is where the cell probably was. Open from the bottom. Oh, and there's our queen. Running around right there. Gonna have to go wash my hands shortly because they are starting to get sticky. All right, she's pointing towards me. I gotta wait till she turns around. Or I can turn, nope. I'll wait till she's heading the other direction. Um, there she goes. Oh, nope. <laughs> I'm going to put my hand there because I don't want her going around the other side of the frame. There she goes. I'm going to manipulate her to get her to get her. blow on her a little bit to dry the paint and then I'm just going to let her keep her on my hands for as long as I can give that paint a chance to dry put her on a treadmill here and oh, she's on the underside of my hand it's hard to get her to run down sometimes there she goes so she's back on the frame Right at the very, very top there. Is that camera? Yeah, that camera's on there. Hopefully. I don't really like to move them too far like that, just in case she decides to jump and she ends up in the grass. We don't want her in the grass. <laughs> That's a bad deal. I just want to look at that next frame. Yeah, it's all cat brood as well. And burr comb on the bottom or ladder comb. And there's a couple cells here. Well, well, isn't that interesting? I don't remember this frame. Got a great big, whoops, got a great big cell there. And there's a, actually one on the other side as well. Well, 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 what are we going to do about that? Put that in a quiet box. Cover that up. And let's look at this last frame. This is a frame of this frame here is almost all pollen, and this side's empty. Okay, let's just have a little thought here. I certainly don't remember 
how many cells were on that. I guess I could run back in the house and look at the video, the raw video, the unedited video of 14. Perhaps I had made note. <sighs> nice looking queen. She's laying well. They've obviously had time to raise a cell. They got all kinds of cat brood, so that that could be queen cells from her eggs. Or they could be queen cells left over from the queen that was in 14 and their duds and just haven't opened. August 10th. It's still early enough. I could take that frame away and make a new cut of it and see what becomes of it. There's two of them there. I could break open the smaller of the two, and if it's a viable queen in there, every, there's every reason to believe that the other one's viable. I could make a new cut of that. Be interesting, just to see what comes of it. I do have time. At least I think I have time. And so what? If it doesn't, I've said it before. It's a game. You knew that was coming, right? <laughs> Huh, have another look at that queen. She's a nice looking queen. And this frame here has got cap root in the center and an open larvae working all the way to the outside edge. She's laying, she is laying beautifully cover these up. Let's have a look at those two cells, just for fun. That larvae did not look viable. Let me check the... I'm... If the one's a dud, stands the reason. Yeah, the other one was dead as well. Okay. That decision's made. <laughs> nope, no more nukes today. Okay, let's put this back together. Uh, I gotta slide that frame over. So those are probably cells made at the same time. And then uh, my guess would be this queen, when she emerged, she went along and stung and killed those. Last one on this pallet, 54. Lots of bees on the inner cover, that's nice. I am going to give them a little bit. I've got burr comb built here too. I'd like to clean that off if I could. Got eggs. Four to four. All kinds of eggs and larvae there in the center and cap stuff out around the outside edge. This side here is capped pretty well from there all the way to there. All right, give me a minute. I got to find the queen. I spotted her. If I'm going to get her with that camera or not, now I've lost her. Shadows here. There she is. She's right here. Okay, I'm going to get this inner, this cover cloth off. Because if she does end up jumping off there, I want her to go down into the box. She's a runner. Oops. She jumped and I flicked, but she's she ran across and down through that little hole. She's probably she's on this frame here. Again, I don't know if I got that camera right. I hope I do. Got a little bit on her wings. Let's watch her for a second. Alright, that one's going back in. Okay guys, I've relocated the cameras. A um, little awkward. Again, this beer is just getting a little too crowded. Uh, this is Nuke 20. This is the one actually that I stuck that virgin queen in and I have peeked in on here. She's perfectly fine. 
Um, but we do need to catch her and mark her. Um, yeah, says needs more space soon too. Last I was in, when I was in here looking. And there's our queen. Run around right here. Uh, where'd she go? Right there. Wash my hands. Of course, now I've got them covered in propolis again. Oh. And then I just kind of let her run around for a minute. She's trying to take flight, so I want her back on the frame. But <laughs> she's running towards the edge. There we go. There we go. She's back on the bottom of that frame. Decent sized queen. Okay, back in the box you go, sweetie. So this one is not as crowded as that last one. But again, I'm not going to push that super tight. All right, so I switched the 20 to a green pin and I marked down on my book that I've uh, marked her. Good looking queen. 56 here is the last one that I need to get into of that group. And... I will admit guys, I, I had a quick run through these uh, last week and I've actually been in this one a couple times. This one has the cell in here and the cell never opened. Um, I've been trying to get back to them. I wanted to get in here before this one started worker lane, but I've uh, been super busy with other stuff and the weather wasn't best the last couple days. Not to have the cameras out here. Uh, I am going to have one more run through this and then we'll make a decision what we're going to do with this. Uh, I don't want them to turn into worker lane situation a couple this year that did that because I was too slow to get back to them um, but yeah we are just gonna have one more look this here frame is just uh, uh, fully drawn that side there has been damaged and of course they they don't have the resources to fix that but um, I think when I made these up when I made these up the original frame from 14 and then I went into 19 and put frames except for 20. 20 at the time I chose not to give them a frame of brood from 19 because I was worried with that virgin queen that the bees from 19 may not have liked that so that one was actually made up with just the frame that that virgin queen was on. Um, the other ones all got the frame that came out of 14 one frame of brood and bees from 19 and then that frame would have just been a drawn frame i would have put two of those in at that time um waving my hands around i just had one didn't sting me but um yeah give them a little smoke this frame's got some nectar and stuff in it and a decent number of bees um this side this side's mostly just pollen i ah, stick that in the quiet box too And this frame here, they've got some honey in the upper corners, but this entire center section is open and polished. I will grab my good glasses wherever they got off to and just make for darn sure that they're not laying in here. Oh, and there, uh, this is why you look three times, guys. I just spotted a queen, but she's tiny but we're going to give her a chance. This is like the third time I've looked through here. Hmm. <laughs> again, hopefully I can get her in this other camera. I've got to find her again. Right here. Well, to me, <clears throat> she's not a virgin. She, uh, just be recently mated doesn't seem logical the other ones had so much brood but I'm gonna give her a chance I was I was planning to unite this to uh, to 20 to be honest with you <clears throat> think about that for a second
So August 8th, I'd made a note. <clears throat> oh, I'd made a note that the cell wasn't open. And I remember looking at that cell. Let's see if that little virgin queen came from that cell. It was right on the very bottom. No, okay. This was the cell that I had seen. No. This larva here is... Uh, Interesting. Just a shriveled up little worker bee. <laughs> oh boy, they all got COVID now. Sorry girls. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, So on August 8th, I had seen that cell, which was not a viable cell. My guess would be, considering all the other ones have so much cap brood, the cells in those other ones must have been just about ready to emerge. It's only been 20, well, it's been 21 days. They've all got brood like crazy. If when I had made this one, <clears throat> There would have been eggs and larvae from either 14 or 19. Um, might have taken them a couple of days to realize that um, the cell that I'd give them from 14 wasn't viable. And so they started a new cell. If they started a new cell from a one day old larvae, what are we talking here? It's 16 days from egg to queen. So if they started with a one day old larvae, three days is an egg. My math's terrible, guys, help me out. What is that, 12 days, 15, 13 days, I guess. So that's darn near two weeks. She looks mated, but she's not laying. Yeah, this is, I think, you can correct me in the comments if my math is wrong. If, uh, if on, what was that, July 21st, and like I say, it may have been a few days before they made that decision, we're certainly gonna let this go for at least another week. If I come back in another week and she's not laying, well, get rid of her and unite these bees to something else. But the fact that they've got a queen running around there, um, they're not gonna start worker laying on me within the next week. Well, that is why you check a couple times. What else does this mean? Well, the four that are over there in this virgin queen are mated and laying cat brood. The cells that I left behind in 14 should be the same age as that, or we could have something like that. So I am gonna go and have a drink of water, and wash my hands and face, uh, be a separate video, stay tuned. I'm gonna jump into 14 and uh, see what has become of that. Thanks for watching guys, I do appreciate your time. You guys be good to your bees, and I'm sure they'll be good to you. I'll bring you back in week 10 days and we'll see what's become of this one. Stay tuned.